Hello and welcome to this short screencast of the Picture Park connector to for Sitecore. My name is Philip and I will guide you through the presentation today. So you can see the Picture Park content platform in front of you and on the right hand side we have different facets and filters. In order to bring content over into Sitecore I just need to select uh, one of the filters here, let's say the strawberries. Uh, and you can see and then only see the strawberry pictures and the next step I can filter maybe for the arrangement shot. Of course these fasts and filters they will always look different depending on your system. So I just need to copy up that filter string on the top here and then I can switch into Sitecore. Uh, this is the most current version of the Sitecore environment and with the connect actually works in multiple areas. Uh, this is now the media library area so what I can do now I can quickly create from a template a new media library folder um, let's just call them demo and click on insert and as a next step I only need to paste um, into the area content I just need to paste a filter string in here so that's the only thing what I need to do so all the content which we're uploading now into picture park and uh, which will match that filter string will be synchronized in these specific formats over into Sitecore. We're also synchronizing over the metadata, so that means you can use the metadata for L text or for any other sort of information within Sitecore. So if we now switch into the folder area, you will see already a couple of assets coming in. And I can refresh here, and then you would see here the strawberry pictures. So if I click on the strawberry picture, you will also see that this one is mastered by Picture Park. So uh, if you're creating a new version of Picture Park, it will automatically update in here as well. So here you can see we're also matching now the L text uh, with specific metadata from Picture Park. So that's one area um, of the connector. Another area is the content editor. In the content editor, I can directly import from Picture Park or I can open up the editor like here. And then I can select text or place uh, myself somewhere here on the page. And then I can either import assets from Picture Park or I can create a link. So the link would be if you're creating a hyperlink to a download of a PDF file or something else. So in order to import now from Picture Park, uh, we just press that button and the so-called asset connector or the uh, picker element will open up. And then here I can again sort of search for, let's say, the strawberry pictures or maybe now some main shots like this one here. Click select that one and just insert that one on the page. Um, the asset will be then sort of dependent depending on your preference it will be then sort of imported into Sitecore or it will be linked from Picture Park. Uh, that really depends on how you have configured the system. Same applies also for the um, uh, the experience editor. So on the experience editor website uh, you can also select just text then you can import from Picture Park or you can create a link from the Picture Park system. So again, the picker element will open up. I can then search, let's say here, for um, any kind of PDF file. I uh, will then f have some matches here. I could select that one, insert, and it will then create a hyperlink uh, or a download link to that PDF file with that specific text here. So many thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at sales at picturepark.com. Many thanks and see you soon. Bye-bye.